Right, I'm back on video again because I've just had to do a bit of guesswork and hunches. If I'd taken the right hand turn back there, which it was all very, very badly signposted back near that field when I came out of the woods, back there, it was very badly signposted. I could easily have gone up another track which would have took me back. Um, back southwest, you know, going back where I come from. So I decided to walk up this very long hill. Um, no signs whatsoever, not on any of the poles, to you get right up here. And I've been here before. Holloway Rocks, and there's the little entrance. There's the people. Now, see, that is private. So I did make the right. Um, decision. I did make the right decision. Five and a half miles to Cheddar, Row Barrow Warren. Yeah, I did make the right decision coming up that track. Otherwise, I would have. The only thing is about that back there. It would have shown me if I'd gone up there. It would have shown me where I supposed to come out in that field. So there's obviously, there is obviously a, a way, but I can still use that route I've done now that I know that. Very, very poorly signposted. And there was an animal in, there could have been a bull in that field. Somewhere. Yeah, I've well, got. I've actually got the book at home, West Mendip Way. I'll have a detailed look at that. It doesn't matter because to me it's a learning curve. Now I'm I'm on track again. Now this probably turns into a stream when it's really wet, heavy rain. This is the old windy bit. I'm I'm happy now. I'm back where I was. But I was, I didn't video me going up that hill because I wasn't very pleased, basically, with the signposting. It was very, very deceiving, especially when you came out of the wood and it didn't tell you where to go. So you, then it showed you some blue signs. Then there was nothing at all. Then it gave you a bloody weird choice. You know, people are walking a long way. They don't want to have to take go backwards and forwards on themselves. Fortunately, I made the right decision. And I've photographed lots of references now, but I still haven't followed their way because it, there was no sign coming out of that wood. I'd been across the field once before and it was not signposted then. So, um... It's all, it's all fun though, it's all part of the country fun when you're out in the middle of nowhere exploring. But I've actually got where I'm going, I haven't actually diverted. Um, in fact, I probably saved myself time by um, doing it the way I did. I can hear people. Lots of horses. There's stables all around here, you see. There's that Tynings Farm. And that you can go out and go out on horse riding treks. That takes me back to my cadet nursing times at Moorhaven. We were on the edge of Dartmoor. And um, basically, there were stables there. So I used to spend all my weekends, I used to spend all my weekends riding. There's some horses going by now. There's probably another lot coming up. Oh yeah, I'll just let you by. I was just talking about my horse riding days when you came along. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so I used to be on Dartmoor a lot riding, and um, I was always getting thrown off. 
they called me electric britches and um, <laughs> yeah I went on a hunt and everything the Dartmoor hunt I went on at, at Ivy Bridge and um, I was on the horse for eight hours that day oh there's somebody else coming right I'm just going to turn off for a minute